welcome to a very special edition of Community Connection. This is going to be a fun show, a creative show, and get ready to work with one of the most amazing chefs around, Chef Ray Dewey. Great to have you here in studio. Pleasure, Liz. Pleasure. And uh, you are going to uh, feast with all kinds of fun uh, decorative art here using food. Well, we're going to try to uh, um, increase your motor skills. You said they were a little <laughs> bit lacking today, but we're going to see what we can do. A um, couple of things first. We're, we're using a black cloth, and the reason being is, of course, if we cut ourselves, no one will know, so that's a good thing. Yeah, i got a couple Band-Aids back here. Good enough. Um, we're going to start with a turnip. Um, turnips are uh, generally uh, baseball size. They have the purple skin. Everybody gets these confused with rutabagas. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start here. A um, couple of tools uh, that we're going to use. This is actually a UNV cutter. Um, I'll let you uh, hold on to that. Um, they are sharp on both ends, so okay. we want to make sure that you don't cut yourself. Never hold the tools like this because, of course, someone bumps you and right. there it is. They're all cut up. So. What I want you to do is I want you to take this okay. and you're going to put it in and just turn the, the turnip slice and just make a circle, not going all the way Gently through. Gently holding it, turning yes. it. Oh, you my gosh. It's incredibly sharp. Yes, this is a good thing. I'm making a U-turn. Okay. There you go. Very good. So I got okay. that done. Look at that. that was she easy. did it and didn't go through the yeah. other side. I like This is it. quite a tool. Very nice. Um, as human beings, we are used to using our knives three ways. One, two, and depending on who you live with. Three. Oh, sorry. Um, That'll do it for this edition of Community. I'm just kidding. We're not used to, uh, <laughs> we're not used to having knives that bend and flex and, and move. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, you can take this out in little sections, but I just want you to cut just a thin piece, oh, about that, about that big, all the way around just so that center okay. piece stands out. Okay, okay, what do you call this kind of knife? This is actually a tie knife. Okay. There's your, there's your sharp there, side. Yeah, there you okay. go. Not too Okay. No, you're going to go the other way. So I'm going the other way. Hold it towards you. Okay. okay. I told you, if you can teach, wait, wait, hold on, this is okay. tricky. Okay. Am I going right? Yes, you are. But you want me Don't to... cut the circle, though. Okay, so you okay. want me to pull? Keep going. Am I pulling it now or am I turning at the you're, same time? You're pulling. Okay. You're doing good. Okay. Whoop. We'll um, get there. <laughs> whoops is not an acceptable term in carving. Let me take a look here. Let's see. Let's see what she did. Did I pull it off? Okay, let's do it. Let's just check Sorry. it out. Yeah, well, let's see if you went deep enough. Okay. Okay. I got gotcha. you. All right, so take a feel, feel how that is. Yeah, we it's went nice and it. smooth, so I, I managed to pull that off. It was a little challenging there, but it was... The V-cutter, this means uh, more work, this is less work. We're actually going to set this absolutely flat on the surface, okay. and we're just going to just take out a series of spokes. Um, why don't we um, put these closer together? Okay, so we're going to... Okay, if we put them closer together, that would be more Again, work. Again, this is less work. Let it sit Can absolutely we? flat. Flat, okay. There you go. There you go. The reason that you don't do a lot of spokes is because that's more you work. You want space between them, usually. Oh, well, you give me uh, about like that. There okay. you go. Okay. Uh, my wife um, actually made 2,500 of these in two days. Oh, my goodness. And, of course, and for our viewers out there, what we're about to make is a beautiful daisy flower. Okay, you want to make sure these pieces come out. Okay. Okay, so take it all the way out. Okay. Okay. You, know, you probably should have brought my fifth grader here because he is uh, quite artistic and also very good with uh, chopping and dicing. He helps me all the time. All right, let's take a look here. Let's see what you did. <laughs> okay. So there's your, your uh, pieces here. All right. Now, the space between the... Uh, spokes has to equal the width of the tool. This is a little bit too small, I would say. Okay. This is probably just about right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go at an angle, make sure that this fits between the two lines and goes all the way to the table, making sure that these cuts actually do connect. So you keep going. Okay. And again, we want to keep it flat. That's less work. There you go. And we want it to hit the middle. All the way to, the, all the, way to the table. You're okay. going good. Okay. Okay. You only have 200 more of these to make. This is very when scary. did you start making these? When was the first time you got into uh, doing this? When you were a little girl. I don't know about that. Um, I think we both were watching Gilligan's Island. Now, here time. we go. If this pops out just correctly, there it is. Oh, right my there. goodness. I pulled it right off. This is... Okay. How many have you made in your no life? And there's no mistakes in art. How right? many How many this have you made in your life? First one I've made, and I, like I did it in record time. Okay, well, since you did that so... flower power. Since you did that lovely. so well, I'd like you to do it again. First of all, it's important that I have the right tool. I'm going to use the U end. Yeah, that's correct. And I want to... Straight, straight up and straight down. Up, this one's straight up and down. There I'm going to give go. it a quick turn. Very good. And make my circle, and making sure it doesn't go through to the table. Very nice. Do that. Okay. And now, the next move is going to be to use this... What did you say this, this was This is actually again? a Thai knife. They actually come from Thailand. And then I want to... Just do a nice little peel. Oh, is this the right sharp okay, side? And what you want to do is you want to kind of actually angle this down just a little bit okay. so that you can uh, get that piece out. And this is, oh, no, 
There we go. And I want to make sure I'm twisting. This is going in for her, her uh, French manicure again tomorrow. Yeah. I just had one. In the, I think it might get... Keep the tie knife away from the French manicure. There you go. Okay. I don't know if this is... Is, is it expected to happen in one smooth move or... Um, you know, that... I don't know if that was deep enough. Once again, that comes with practice. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. okay. And again, as you get more comfortable... Do you remember the first time that you drove a car? I do. This is what it was like. Ten, two, your knuckles were right. white, and yep. it was a straight line. And now this is how you drive years later. You're on the phone. You're not even watching. You're not holding on the it phone, with two fingers. foot's out. Those you're foot holding out, you know, with two fingers. <laughs> that comes with practice. Okay. All right. Here so right. now you're practice gonna make the spokes. Perfect. All right. The spokes again. The spacing. So and we, again, you can set this absolutely flat, flat on the surface. Start right Where there. Where do you find tools like this? I mean, are they at the, your cooking stores? I actually uh, carry these on online. I actually have my own business. I travel the world and teach culinary art. Uh, I've been uh, to the Far East, uh, Europe, all over and um, have a list of tools and books, DVDs, things of that nature, Chef, chefgarnish.com. Chefgarnish.com, mm -hmm. because I think I have to get myself one of these. Okay, so now you want to make sure you take those pieces out that they come out. Okay. So you can go back and take those out. Okay. Okay. I'm getting used to having you around, so I'm thinking, you know. Well, that's I fine. I can borrow you in my kitchen. That would be fine. Okay, so now we've got that so done. Now, I'm going to scoop. Remember, the width of the tool has to equal the width of the spokes. Because these are so wide, we can use a much larger tool. So what do you say? There Does that go. work? That works. Okay, carry on. All right, so now we're going to scoop. Again, leaving it flat so that... Uh, there you go. And these are supposed to come right down to the bottom, you said, right? Yep. If you can... Oh, the, the, you should give up your this day job. This is the job. fun part. You should give up your day job. This could be Flower a whole new career. Flower power. I mean, okay. I'm feeling good about this. Let's see if it pops this. out. Okay. Now... Because on the U and V cutters, there's actually three cutting wow. sides. There's the U I side, this. This is pretty exciting. U side, there's the V side, then there's the flat side. I'm going to turn your flower over, and I'm just going to take out just a little V if you would do that to all of them. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, this is very scary. This is really, really fun. I'm enjoying this. It's almost like therapeutic. Okay, so let's see what it looks like now. All ah. right. Try it again. Okay. Okay. So and far, she hasn't cut herself. This is good. And you said you travel the world teaching I do. Uh, the tricks of the trade. I do. And uh, where did you learn all these tricks? Um, while everybody was out uh, causing a ruckus and uh, playing hard, you know what you I was doing? You were causing even more of a ruckus at cooking school. I <laughs> was doing. There you go. One more time. One more, okay. Did you said your wife made how many of these? 2,000? 2,500 in two days. And uh, what were these for? Just and as event? you can see, we are still married. That's okay, good. that's a good thing. Um, she, uh, I won't tell you what she you said, but I'm sure you could fill in the blank very <laughs> easily. Um, we actually had a catered event for uh, 1,250 um, people at a big um, uh, holiday event. And uh, yes, she was, she was pretty traumatized after that first day. I'm sure. Um, when you say, I'm bringing you flowers, honey, she's like... No. I have never bought my wife flowers ever. I've always carved them. Well, you know, what a guy. So flowers like this, of course, we're doing this, what, for garnish purposes, or are these edible as well? These are actually edible. Of course, these are raw turnips, but if you do these out of daikon, radish, <laughs> carrots, uh, things of that nature, jicama, these are actually edible. If you do them out of potatoes, uh, butternut squash, uh, pumpkin, we can actually roast them in the oven and they'll hold their shape and you can uh, put them on the plate and everybody mm -hmm. will be very happy. Very so. impressive. I would think it'd be kind of a fun garnish on soup. Um, another way that you could do this is you can actually use these as a kind of a... Uh, Accessorizing? A, yes, as no, an I didn't ensemble. come with a necklace. We can do that too. So <laughs> um, I'm going to tidy up and we'll uh, come back and we'll do even more. Okay, this is great. I'm having fun.